Alright, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to the Mofa Project. I hope uh, I didn't keep you guys waiting for too much. Um, yeah, get out of the way. Yeah, there you go. So uh, today we're going to be working on, uh, well, you know, coloring the, f the feathers here and then um, hopefully we will be able to finally, um, how do you say this? Be able to finish this uh, color up so that we can then continue with the next color. So today we're going to be working on that. So this is the color, the red color here, and we're going to fill up the wing part here with that color and then uh, continue moving onward from there. So yeah, uh, let's get started and um, I hope you guys are all going to be enjoying today. So uh, let's see, we want to have the, we want to have a different name, yeah, this one. I want to change it up like that. Good and lovely. All right, cool. Now I can work on this. Uh, do I need to zoom in a little bit more? Yes, I do. That will be enough, I think. I believe. Yeah, it will. So yeah, um, five. No, five is a little bit too much. Seven. Yes, seven is good. Alright, let's get started on this. There you go. So today we're going to be working on that and uh, hopefully, you know, once this all is finished we are able to get a good, well, not a good view, but a good uh, look on the feathers in total. The main problem that these feathers have is like, you know, that it's, it's sometimes hard to get this thing fully done, so yeah. Um, work. So yeah, today I had actually a busy day, and, uh, to and uh, tomorrow is gonna be easy. Hopefully, and uh, hopefully this will be uh, gonna be good over well good progression I would say. So uh, yeah, uh, um, tomorrow I will be picking up again my drawing itself, um, picking up my drawing, and I probably gonna be recording it myself, and then pro and then you know time lapse it into you know uh, a video. So yeah. Hopefully that will work. Hopefully that will work fine. And uh, I hope I can do that. Hopefully I have the ways of dealing with that. So yeah. So far so good. Well, you know. So far no problems arrived or occurred. But yeah. It's really hard for me to do these things. Uh, well, you know, recording because I don't know if I'm I will be able to do it. I don't know how how far or where I need to cut it you know, once it happens, but I think uh, getting in with the flow, I guess that will work fine. But yeah, I'm gonna be working on uh, one of my personal things, and then hopefully, you know, it will be impressive or well, at least nice to watch. Hmm. So yeah, uh, yeah, we need to go that one, that one, and and it means that I need to grab this part over here. I'm gonna grab with this here. So uh, yesterday I actually watched the Dark Tower. Um, which is a movie, a trailer movie, well, not a tra yeah, a trailer movie, I believe. It's a, it's a movie about, you know, uh, a tower that holds the whole universe together, and if it, if it gets destroyed, demonic creatures come out of their Val spawn. Somehow, I don't know how, but they, they come and taint the world. And uh, a bad guy wants to destroy the tower by using uh, psionic powers. 
uh, hooked on a machine and that will fire out kills per people that are put into it and then you know uh, tries to destroy the tower with it which is really hard uh, which is actually quite funny to see that he actually fails at achieving dealing any damage until the last point so yeah but yeah the tower is getting hurt and uh, the earthquake the earthquakes that are caused by the beam are heard around the whole around mutant multiverse apparently so if you know if it it echoes and therefore you know you have these earth earth tremors apparently in the other one in the other world and then this kid discovers how to uh, locate uh, the main protagonist and uh, wants to help him apparently this protagonist is well wait protagonist Antagon yeah protagonist actually is uh, wants revenge on a person that actually made his life a living nightmare which is actually a psycho a very powerful psycho who can uh, use his psionic powers to uh, force somebody to drop their weapon, drop their bread, or whatever that is. And uh, yeah, uh, he uh, he eventually, you know, the uh, the protagonist actually wins. If I'm correct, yeah, protagonist wins. Though I found the ending a little bit eh, a little bit meh, but so far it was actually quite decent. It was a decent movie. It was not a movie that I would like to see twice, but. It was a decent movie. They did actually quite good. Uh, good. Uh, they actually did made it feel creepy. But after the, de uh, but uh, they could have done so much more in the creepy aspect, which they didn't. They didn't do the creepy, the creepy pasta stuff like you know, having how this, how the society works of these uh, creatures that wear facial masks how the society works they just bluntly introduce them like yeah they, these are the bad guys and then no explanation whatsoever why they made a deal with the demons or why they did it and how they did it no that, that that's out of the out of the continent they just want to you know take over the take over the world take over the world with the demons together and be muhahaha evil yeah Eh. But yeah, the, it was good. To, it was a good movie. I I must say myself, it was a good movie to watch. It was entertainable. Shamefully, uh, because I watched it on the television, it means that I actually watched commercials uh, between spots, which caused a lot of immersion um, immersion to be gone. Which uh, which happens, but you know, no need to be sad about that. But it's a it's a little bit of a problem. Sometimes if I if I if I have commercials, they they really sometimes cause they they cause they cause some problems sometimes. Anyway, um, so how would I say that? How would I say this? Um, how would I say this? They the the whole movie was actually quite nice to look at even though you know it, it was a little bit strange it was a little bit out of out of whack like certain things they don't even know anymore and the pro the pro yeah the protagonist doesn't even know they uh, that it, that it, what what year they fell or what year there was apparently it was a big giant war and even that war was never truly felt well it was felt through the environment but not felt through uh true memories there, there were not a lot of memories of this war that has been raged around these people invading them oh hey becca nice to see you again so yeah um it was a little bit strange the the dark tower but it had some good aspects. It has some bad as aspects, I must say. They did an excellent job upon making the main bad guy. You really don't like this guy, and uh, it is shown, and uh, his powers are shown. But he was a real, eh, 
he was he was relying too much on the psychic powers uh, to win in the end, and that made him his downfall. Which I guess that's a good way to kill him off. Only the downside was, you know, this protagonist just destroyed the whole. S s the protagonist actually destroyed the whole facility with using one bullet, shooting it at the at the at the mega structure. And then exploding the whole damn place. And you know, he even shot the bullet through a portal, so it was like, what? 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 <laughs> I didn't know that a bullet could travel through portals. Uh, I didn't know that. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a deja vu sometimes. Yeah, I rock. I totally rock. I am the rockest of the rocks. I am rock steady. Uh, but yeah, it was a it was a good movie. I must say myself, uh, I enjoyed it. Even though you know it had some flaws, it it was enjoyable. So yeah. The only thing that I didn't get was like why didn't the main bad guy not use his power? Well, it was explained in the early it was explained in the early prologue that, you know, only a child could break the break the tower, but still you have this insanely powerful psyker. Of he could have used his own mind to destroy the tower if he could if he if he wanted, but apparently not. Apparently he didn't want to sacrifice himself for the greater good. So, ah, well, you get that right. Protagonist never wants to sacrifice themselves. I guess that's the thing. But the fun, the most bad, badass thing it was was when the uh, when the protagonist actually pointed out to the uh, miracle child, the the key to everything, uh, dead the mother from. Well, he was busy, you know. Oh hey, space junk! I heard the dark power was kind of eh. My friend was oops. My friend was a fan of the book. I heard people raging their ass off when talking about this movie. Yeah, um, it was not bad. It was not that bad, but I have not read the book, so I could not say how bad it was. But at least the the concept was good. Yeah, I believe the concept was good. It was an interesting concept, but they they could have done so much more. It it had potential, but you know, it has been gone to waste. It was like a uh, 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 uh. So yeah. I I not always uh totally uh, got in the in, in it. Uh by you know the immersive side, but I think that was because of the commercials. But the protagonist actually had no valid reason why he would go after the child, only then you know to destroy the world and make the demons go nuts. But yeah, only that is that is his only reason. I was like, yeah, but it could have been so much more. He could have had an alternate. He could have had a motive why he made it. What he made a deal with the demons instead of just you know casually murdering people to get to the tower and trying to assassinate all the last gunslingers apparently it's quite funny that you know normally you need psychic power to resist his powers and then d d just the last gunslinger was like no i'm just I'm just a guy who's immune to psychic powers. All right, and then you know the main protagonist is just you know killing everybody that he liked. So yeah, that uh, that thing happened apparently. But yeah, he, the protagonist was actually quite power. It was ridiculously. Oh well, was it the antagonist? Uh, the bad guy was insanely powerful. The main good guy was also very powerful, but he went into a grumpy. Aggie boy, so he was like a grumpy grandpa, like, 
I remember the time before days and gone. It was all better than. So yeah, he was constantly complaining. He didn't have a good heart. Let's put it that way. He was a very grumpy boy. I don't know if the uh, the hero of the story in the book is actually not that grumpy, and I think that maybe pissed people off. I don't know. I mean, there are like twelve books or something. A lot of room exploiting there, at least. Wait, twelve books? Wait, there are really twelve books of that, and they didn't implement any of the stories of it. Oh my god, they could have done so much more than if if they had so much feedback to get a decent movie out and they didn't because I, I clearly saw there was potential. Uh, the acting of the main bad guy was actually phenomenal. But the you know, it, it lacked certain things. It lacked it lacked a lot of stuff. Like unexplained stuff. Like I, if I ha I have not read the book, so I could not judge. But what I could say is that 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 some things were une left unexplained, which are very annoying, because they had to do they had to de they had to do with all the um with the whole story in in whole. Like the main bad guy faction was like, why are they invading Earth? Why are they doing it? What what is their goal? What is their gain from this? The only gain that I saw was like, yeah, they want to have harvest children. And I was like, yeah, but there must be more to it than just, you know, harvesting children to destroy the tower. If you're only gonna be using, you know, your powers to invade, to destroy the tower, to create the end of times, I must say like that's stupid. Why why would you try to end why would you try to end this world? Even though you know you had so much more potential, like you could do something. You could because it felt like they were like a hive mind destroying everything that they meet. They were not felt like enemies. They were more like animals. Orcs. Yeah, orcs. Orcs is a good example. They were like orcs. They look like orcs, they act like orcs, but they wear human face masks, apparently. Very creepy pasta stuff. But yeah, it's it's strange that they only you that they you they that they have twelve books and then yeah, of course that people are gonna get upset if they use twelve books and then not explain anything in the story. The only thing I knew that it was a guy who quit doing his job as a hero, became grumpy, meets a child from another world thinks that it is one of one of the main bad guys and then you know tries to get rid of him uh, rid of him until you know he has like ah oh, you know what fuck it you are more important to me than now because apparently you know more about the world than I do allow me to find some more people to talk about how to get to you in the end so I'm like we're also, it's very convenient that, you know, the place that they go, apparently there is a portal there. What? I thought only the bad guys had portals. Yeah, but the good guys also had portals, but they'd never have used it because they hide it. It's like, what? Wait, what? Are you rebels or something? <laughs> I mean, hey, when it comes to uh, st uh, Stephen King's books, uh, you have to seem to have a f coin flip, whether you actually recognize or the quality they're working on uh, with or not some are hits and some are freaking am uh, and some are freaking amazing huh. nice well you know i will give you my honest opinion i never read a book about uh, of stephen king i never read a book about that guy i never read his books probably i should but I'm a very, very, I'm a very terrible reader. I'm the per, I'm the kind of person who reads and then forgets about what he was reading. So yeah, it's, it's uh, I'm not a very smart person when it comes to those things. But hey, you know, I, at least I tried. I am a very honest person. So yeah, I, I tried to do my very best upon making a decent. So yeah. Um, anyway, so, 
that what happened i uh, i saw the movie today, uh, yesterday well there were like it was almost an hour of commercials in total so it was really really annoying you have this very scary bit and we gonna cut to the commercials it's like what what are you really kidding me you're you're gonna cut it just like that you're gonna cut it just like that you have this insanely scary moment and in bush it's gone all right I don't mind I'm a very scary pants I'm a very scary cat indeed but uh, holy hell that uh, that breaks the immersion right off so yeah upon me neither though uh, there are a ton of classic movie based on his books and ton of uh, of uh, famously not great ones ah not great ones well you know eventually one will make a hit eventually one will make a hit eventually it's like you know I'm gonna be doing a drawing to I'm gonna do a drawing tomorrow and then hopefully you know be able to make a video out of it and then post it of course I'm gonna make a video that is probably gonna be voiceover yeah voiceover definitely voiceover so that you know you guys are gonna be enjoying a fast paced drawing instead of you know slow ass sluggish me I'm gonna use the magic power of editing <laughs> so yeah that's uh, that's gonna be lovely can't wait for that to happen editing power yeah but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be tomorrow doing. I'm gonna be doing my drawing part. I'm gonna be trying to do my very best upon drawing. But yeah, uh, I would say it's a good uh, it's a good movie for watching it like two times or three times, but not more than that. It uh, its story gets really repetitive if you watch only the movies. So if you want to if you want to watch a movie that is a bit scary but not that scary it's just you know a thriller then yeah sure they could have done so much more on the thriller kind of part but no not allowed they are not allowed to do that they are not allowed to get that uh, get that constant feeling of dread nope they could have done more sadly they didn't so now we need to wait anyway well, this looks nice nice misery is the be uh, misery is the best one of course uh shua shank redemption the green mile uh the shining are all up there too oh you didn't say that the shining was uh so the shining was actually from Steve. Oh, all right. And the Green Mile even. Nice. That that those 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 two I those two I do remember. And those two were good. So yeah. Um that means actually that yeah, the the, the those movies were great. I didn't know that that Stephen Hawk was, was actually the guy who wrote those things, but hey, you know. I'm not a very intellectual person when it comes to reading books. The only books I read for fun are encyclopedias, so hey, if you ever want me to talk about dinosaurs, go ahead. <laughs> Say the magic word and I will do it. I'll fucking do it. So yeah, the the whole thing is about, you know, I have like a very distinct, a very distinct you know point of focus when it comes to a write, a write, a reading books if the book if I see a book and I don't like the book I won't read it if I read the book and I don't like it I won't read it further and uh, that happens a lot that's also why my score on uh, reading books in general in uh, that's why I cheated actually on uh, uh, in, in general, you know, when I was on, you know, when I was to s get to school for, you know, reading books, it was like, I don't want to read this book. I'm just gonna read the short story of it. 
I don't want to read a full book. Chitsu, that's going to be taking me too much of a nap. That's going to be taking me like, I don't know, a week or two to read it fully. So yeah, I uh, I took the short wait. I actually went for a summer area and just, you know, learned that out of my head. And then, you know, a little bit of acting. Ahem, and uh, then you, you get a, you get a good, good story. Yeah. Without any downsides, so uh, I uh, I did that. I was a very I was a very very bad person when it came to uh, reading. So yeah, I always went for the summaries until I actually had to be f until I was forced to read a book. So I was reading a book of lecture. Well, I got a very good grade out of it because apparently I was smart enough to skip all the damn sex scenes in the in the book apparently it was literally a book about a woman that was abused by many people and uh, had a child and that that child was very uh, and she had a very rough time raising that child up and she didn't want to let her get into that same si uh, in that same situation and eventually you know she kills her ex ma uh, ex husband uh, because he he was stalking her too much, and she snapped. So yeah, that that was uh, that was a good that was a good mo that was a good uh, book to read. I I I skipped a lot of scenes and uh, I still got the concept uh, after you know almost five years. So yeah, good summary. And the the funny thing was actually that the uh person that you know. That had to judge me if I was able that I have read the books was actually like a really fan of that author, so that's how I manipulated her in talking. So hey, you know, teachers, they're always fun until you get uh, you know the good grades. Uh, Gary was with him too, so Pat Simpson and a couple of others, I think. I can't think. Um, <laughs> the one who reads under the table in math class. I was good at math, it wasn't really missing something. <laughs> well, good for you that you were good at math. I was not. I was not good at math, especially B. So I switched to A, and then I got better. So hey, you know. I got really good at, uh, you know, being uh, being able to draw while being in uh, science. So, science class was actually quite fun. And mathematics was actually also fun, and I was like, eh, I don't mind, I don't mind drawing while going into mathematics. But math, math was a little bit different, because we had A and B, and I actually went for A afterwards. I, I switched A in one, in one year, and I got, like, really good at it. So from B to A was actually better for me because I'm a very dyslexic person, which means that everything that is going to be with A's and B's and C's and D's and A's is going to be dancing on the table like a like a mat, mat train, like, ah, yes, uh, you mean A? No, uh, there is no A on this list. What? No A? Oh my god. So yeah, I, I fixed myself up. Da -da -da. I fixed myself up and uh, I got like a good grade uh, at the end of the end of the year. Same goes for art. I was terrible at history on art, and then you know I was just you know, what would a what would a what would an art person say about this art? Hmm. And I did that, and I got a plus. So I got a I got a full a full digit number. So I'm very happy. Like ten was the highest, and uh one was the lowest, and I got like a seven. So I was like, yep, that's doable. Claim. And then I had like an 8 for, uh, I believe I had an 8 for in total for, um, for art. Because I always scored very high on the project side, not on the, not on the, not on the history side. The history was always that fake kind of thing, like, you had this straight up history about art, and then she's asking about, what do you feel about this? And I'm like, I don't feel, I'm a rock. What do you mean feelings? What are those things? Are those things that I need to be worrying about or something when I see art? Jeez Louise, I'm just looking at how bad this person draw. So yeah, um, 
I was very bad at uh, making uh, making good judgments because I was really literally judging the book by its cover, by the looks. And I should not have done that. I should have done with the feels. And I'm like, I don't know how to do feels. And at the exam, I was like, you know what? I'm going to lie about my feels. And then everything turned out great. <laughs> so I always went for fours when, I, when it came to, you know, the tests. Or when it came to, you know, the history test of arts. And then when I did my, uh, when I did my exam, it was like, yeah, seven, seven, yeah. Definitely good, good enough. Seven, yeah, seven it is. No, nothing, nothing more. Just seven. That's all, folks. <laughs> all I needed. Uh, I, I look back and realize how annoying I must have been f to anybody else. <laughs> ah, no, man. I, I, I had also that thing, and everybody was like, "Yohan, please teach me how to do this ma how to do this science, please. I back up thee," and I'm like. What? <laughs> because I was always in the head in my clouds when it came to science. It was like, yeah, I'm drawing right now. And then it's like, should you not be, uh, you know, learning? It's like, no, I got this. I got this. And yes, I got this. Because I always had these weird ways of connecting the science with images and science with words and songs. And it's like, ah, yes, I think... I feel this and that and this and this and this and that and then boom. I have now a good a good science base principle, yes. It's like, you know, how do you realize that this is carbon dioxide? Oh how do you realize that there is carbon dioxide coming out of it? Well let me tell you this in a song. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, I was not a very uh, I was a very smart person, but not very bright. <laughs> not bright at all, especially oblivious to situations. And I mean situations, I mean heavily situations. I was blind to situations that go on. Like uh, a friend of mine actually showed me the uh, school. Uh, school photo of um, high school. Apparently, I have been in the high school book, even though I didn't even remember that I signed up for that. Yes. I don't even remember that I signed up for that kind of things. So yeah, I am... Um, mm, how do you say that? Um oblivious to all situations and until proven <laughs> until proven otherwise so yeah uh it, it is it is it it is good of course to have oblivious behavior well in high school but yeah maybe it's not the best and smartest move you could pull when you need to learn how to do things but hey you know i'm a very good person so yeah the things that uh, that uh, things is that uh, when things just click for you, often you won't even know how to explain it. L like you just can just get it. Yep, yep, yep. You just got it. You just get it. You just like yep. Uh, that's how it works. Apparently it works that way, and I don't know why, but it works that way, and that's how I learned it. It's like hmm. When two bees come together, you get a beehive, right? No, 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 no. You need a bee queen to get a beehive. Ah, and how do you get a bee queen? Well, it depends on the pheromones that have been produced in the in the beehive itself. Sometimes there is going to be a new queen, and normally the old bee, uh, the original bee queen actually eats all the bee. Uh, uh, normally the, bee, the original bee queen actually produces these pheromones, and as long as these pheromones are there, they don't produce uh, female queen bees until you know the winter comes and then you know things are getting a little bit like I am a little bit low on pheromones no and then you know bee queens are rising and then you know new bee queens are formed sometimes the old bee queen dies or sometimes you know a bee accidentally a new bee queen is formed therefore you know there's gonna be a infight or there is gonna be uh, 
or it's going to be expelled and then you know she's going to be forming their own, her own damn beehive so yeah it's quite fun that uh, how bees work almost the same as ants if i'm correct in that behavior part but yeah um that's uh that's how i remembered it at least so yeah my memory is not always the best but uh, when it comes to Certain type of things it is uh, bright, bright. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, well, oh shit! I need to look at. It. All right. Ten minutes left. Oh no, no, no. Forty minutes left. Nice. Forty minutes left. That's uh, that's decent. That's enough. That's enough to make myself very happy that I actually am still on schedule. Nice. Even though you know we're just doing casually draw co coloring the feathers right now, the tips of the feathers need to be colored, and that's all we need. You know what actually funny is, uh, uh, as you, uh, I hope you all, all, all uh, bleh, bleh. uh, since that everything here around the, uh, uh, everything that I now uh, do is like live stream I'm trying to do the recording as well just to show you guys off like what I'm normally drawing so yeah I'm gonna be trying to focus on getting a project not done but getting a drawing done so that I can focus on that so hopefully that will work as well um uh, what was I saying now I was totally out that was totally out of position that was totally out of order oh damn it god damn it alright uh so what I wanted to <laughs> what I wanted to do what I wanted to do uh <laughs> God damn it. Not again, not have an empty laughter even though you know it's not funny that it happens. It's like ah oh, jeez just a big blind giant blunder. Yeah, the highlight never noticed anything around me at school. People people wise never occurred to me. To talk to anyone who wasn't my best friend until I went to uni, and I had no idea how to socialize. Yeah, that's the main problem normally. The so the socializing socializing bit. I was like re when I went to the when I went to the university. Oh yeah, eh, not university. Uh, the the lesser version of it. When I when I went to that, I had no idea how to socialize. I was empty on socializing. I could not even form a simple gesture of saying hello and asking what the homework was. That's how bad I was at socializing. And then the worst thing the worst thing came to notice was like, you know, yeah, um we're gonna have this and this and this tonight and you need to learn this and this and this and I'm like, Alright teacher, could you please explain to me how I do it? And then the teacher says no. Figure it out your fucking self, and I'm like, all right, I'll ask somebody else then, and you know what they say: if you want to ask somebody else, you need to be socializing, and socializing was a no bueno for me, because I don't make friends; they are really rare. <laughs> they are like a rare occurrence that happens. It's like only time that I make good friends it's like when I click when when I when I when I when I click with somebody it's like oh yeah I can finish I can finish off somebody else's mind thought like yeah we need to do this yeah we need to do it we're, all go we're gonna make we're gonna make millions millions upon billions so yeah the the main problem was this ma uh, th this whole university thing was like yeah figure it out yourself and I'm like I cannot figure it out myself I wanted to know the answer damn it to how to do it and then it's like ask somebody else to do that. ask somebody else and I'm like no I'm already doing that and they are not giving me straight answers please give me answers and nobody asked so yeah that's how I fell I, I fell from gra grace because I could not solve my own problems I could not problem I did not do I was not good at solving and socializing at the same time got a little bit depressed out of that and uh, you know 
after that I went to something else and he, or something else was actually getting to a new place and uh, packing things up and uh, try it again and uh, that time it actually worked I actually zing oh uh, well you know it actually worked I I got a book I slammed the book at my face and I learned everything so yeah I learned I I won so yeah you're not funny well I <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah, I uh, I fi I fi I fixed the problem that I had before. So I was able to socialize. I learned how to socialize, and uh, the, at least you know the people that I ha the people that were my teachers were actually saying like, yeah, I'll tell you how to do it. Until, but you need to do it yourself afterwards. And I'm like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But I want to know how to do it first so it's quite funny that uh, eventually you know I ended up in the wrong, at the right side and uh, I got me even myself that I got even that far that I actually knew how to do everything and then you know everything went back to normal uh, I got I I found it I found this I found a place where I could you know do my things my uh, internship and then after that I was like and now, well, of course, find a job. Well, that's still the problem. The problem is I cannot socialize because of COVID and because I cannot co because I cannot do a job job you know job looking uh, because of COVID. I'm I'm stuck. Normally, I would not have such a problem with being stuck, but people are like, "Hey, you need to go find a job," and it's like, "Yeah, I would love to find a job." But I can't because I need to find I need to get the if I want to ha find a job that I like, I need to do job hopping or well job job looking and job looking only works when the events are there and the events are not there so therefore I cannot socialize correctly and therefore I cannot make contacts therefore because I cannot make contacts I cannot call those contacts to find if I, they have contacts and then find a place where I can do my job and work. But no. Ah, damn it! My comment. Go. I said, ah, we are your friends. <laughs> well, what? What? Well, since that you put it like that, <laughs> I have. Of course, you are my friend, Baka. Everybody is my friend. Everybody is my friend. I really like you guys. I really do. Ah. Uh. I could now just say something very funny, but no, I am. I'm not gonna be lowering myself to that kind of humor. Not today. Not today. I'm already feeling silly. No, I'm not gonna be doing more silliness. <laughs> uh, yep. Silly. Silly of me to think that that would be a thing. Ah, silly. There you go, have a new little blob there. Alright, so that if I'm gonna be working tomorrow on my other part on my other project I won't be able to get the color wrong. So yeah, that's the idea. I planned the hat, Yarg. With full full hat. It's actually funny how much I actually pirated back in the day when I was actually on the non university. It was like yeah, you need to pirate. You need to buy this. You need to buy that. You need to buy this. And I'm like, I ain't have no money. What do you think I am? Rich? Ha! Huh? I am not rich. So I went like, yar, ha 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 ha. And then, uh, you know, I got my stuff. I got the stuff that I needed. And uh, I fixed the stuff that I don't need it. And uh, yeah. I was a very proud pirate back in the day. A proud, a proud pirate that uh, likes to, uh, you know, do its, uh, do its business somewhere else. Because I had no time for something like very important, like I don't know, buying books. Apparently, you had to buy PDF books that were just, you know, printed out on paper, and I was like, what? I need to buy. Things that are from a PDF that you say that it is a book, 
Even though there is no book here. All right, fine. I'm not gonna. Pe I'm not gonna spend an any. I'm not gonna spend any penny on that. So what I did was actually not buy any books. I just find I found the PDFs on the internet and then be like, yes, I will do this. This will be good. And so I did. I uh, actually fixed everything by you know doing none on PDF and. Uh, I was a very happy man. I actually got all the PDFs for free and I didn't spend any buck. After, you know, the collapse of my dis uh, after having the big giant depression, I uh, I quit I quit the university thing and uh, I got a full return. I got a full refund of my money. So uh I was uh, again uh, fully I was fully on my money again. So I did not act I did not actually had any problems with uh, getting into debts or anything like that. So yeah, no debts for me. No debts. No money debts. So uh, after that I actually went to uh, another place. And that place I got my diploma. And uh, I didn't even have to pay for it. Ah, I was so good at it. I didn't even have to pay for it. I let the people that actually... Uh, the, I let the people that normally supposed to look for my work pay for it so yeah i was actually quite pl i was quite happy there i had no debts i had nothing to lose well technically that was actually there was actually one step before that that was actually the step that i actually went to learn how to use the train me and trains don't work all right i've either fall asleep and end up two stops behind or I get really nervous and I'm almost like, oh my god, so many people, help me, ah! So yeah, uh, those things, yeah, I have the right to res res have the right to resent my friendship, aw, oh. wait, re what is resent, what the, re recite, 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 re 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 yes, please tell me what the word is. You want to revoke it? Ah, really? Really, you want to revoke my? You want to revoke my friend request? <laughs> that's so bad. That's so sad. Well, don't you worry. I'll send you a second friend request in a year or two. Then I guess because it's important to have friends. Everybody wants friends, and everybody needs friends because without friends, uh. It gets lonely. <laughs> Even a dog can consider to be a friend, you know? A helpful companion. A very good friend. Ah, lucky you. I got my student debts for my degree and dropped out of wa waiting, uh, waiting in the shadows. Ooh. Yeah. Those things hurt. But yeah. Before, before I actually had my diploma, I actually went to learn how to use the train. Ooh. It's like, what does this do? Yes, it's trained. It drives. Ah. So yeah, that was actually the search for me to find a new job. And uh, I met a lot of people and they were like, yeah, we can find you a job, my boy. And they realized like, yeah, I don't know how to fi let you find a job. I have no idea how because apparently you are troublesome trouble some child. And I'm like, really? You cannot even tell me how to find a job properly? Oh. Wait, I can work at a place where I can make paint on a wall. Oh, very interesting stuff. Not the stuff I want. Oh, you want me to pack those boxes? Oh, very interesting stuff. Not the stuff that I want. So yeah, it was either going to buy, go back to McDonald's kind of uh, lifestyle or, well, go back to lobbying li lifestyle or, you know, working at a restaurant. Or learning how to cook, or learning how to, of course, cooking. And I have no offense upon cooking, but you know, it's beneath me. Might not be beneath other people, but I love cooking. But I don't like like to cook for work. That's like no, no, I don't want to cook for work. I don't want to make McDonald's kind of food for work. That's uh, that's uh, that's a no bueno for me. That's. Uh, Making breath, maybe, but making making McDonald's food, how about fucking no? <laughs> I already feel sick and tired when I serve those things to people. It's like, here you go, 
your nonsense food that does not die. Why are you not dead yet while well, you eat this? I don't know. Why are your ki kidneys not dying already from pain? Yeah, that's a uh, good jokes all <laughs> friendship gets. <laughs> yep, the good jokes. The good jokes. The doom doom ch jokes. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, those people wanted me to work at uh, certain places like, you know, KFC or McDonald's or whatever. Uh, making making sure that boxes are packed in. I was like, no, that's not my kind of work style. Do you think I'm fucking stupid or something? So at the end, I was like, you know what? Screw you guys, I'm going home. So I successfully, of course, went through the whole triact and I had a little nice little talk with those people. Those people, of course, were psy psychiatrists. Uh, how do you say that? People with mind. Yes, people with mind thinking. And, uh, you know, I had to, uh, t because they were really treating me like trash there, I was like, you know, you need us to give us a good uh, approval rate. And I'm like, oh wait, you want me to improve, you want me to have an approval rate upon you? Ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. I nearly went into ba baking cakes and decorating and uh, fr from them workout, but it was before the pandemic. I might still do it if the game uh, writing doesn't pan out. Ah. Huh? Well, good that you have a backup plan at least, Becca. I do also have a backup plan, and that's just waiting. But hey, you know that's that's not a backup plan at all. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, the I had to improve. I had to approve this guy, and this guy was such a dick. He uh, he didn't even he didn't even send himself to tell the tale. All right, he didn't send himself to, you know, had the little chit chats with me every week. It's like, how are you doing, psychiatrist? Yes, there you go. He didn't even want himself to be on this nice information. So. I didn't even have the I didn't even had the ways of you know talking to this guy. I could not reach him. He was always too busy. You know who need you know who I had a li nice little talk with. You know, the intern. So yeah, I always was with the intern instead with uh, the psychiatrist. And he was like, you know, you need to give me a good approval rate. And I'm like, you know what? I'll grant you one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I gave him like a tree or something, and I was like, and then he was like, "Why did you give me a tree? I am surprised." And it's like, mm. allow me to point out my book. According to Article four eight five nine seventy eight five nine seven eight four, you were not there for the to do, to the, for the time being when I was around, when I had a little chit chat with the intern. Also, you stink. So yeah, um. He was a total. Uh, he was a total surprise, and I was like, "Ha! I prove you wrong. You are the worst kind of person ever because you don't even have your conversations personally, <laughs> even though that was your job." <laughs> so yeah, he didn't even do his job properly. So yeah, I pointed that out to him, and he was like, "Fucking flabbergasted." It was lovely to see his face turn red. Like, are you shitting me right now? And I was just sitting there with my, my with my with my hands crossed, like, mm, take that, get wrecked. <laughs> that laugh. That's why. He, why? He, <laughs> <laughs> that was that was an oblivious laugh, all right. That was that was a laugh that was that was supposed to be myanical or whatever, just evil. The yeah yeah yeah. That's not how I laugh normally. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's quite funny that <laughs> that this man was so fucking flabbergasted and was like, "Are you shitting me? You cannot do this to me, Yon. Why? Why do you give me a bad grade? I needed this." And it's like, "You needed this? No, you asked for it. You even asked for me to grade to." Great you and you know, well, you know, you filled on very much of all the aspects that were given to my my uh, to uh, in into my mind. You know, you 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 ruined your own self. You you let other people do your dirty work 
like talking to me and that makes me feel bad that makes me so sad <laughs> so yeah i i uh, i disapproved upon his ratings i gave him like a tree and he was fucking lit it. He was flabbergasted into oblivion like, Are you shitting me right now? You cannot do this to me. I trusted you like a father, Anakin. So yeah, the, it was it was like a brother to me. So yeah, the the whole day the whole it was actually quite fun to see him. <laughs> Almost like none. Ah yeah, that was some good times. That was some good times. That was like Yeah. I outplayed you, my friend. I outplayed you. You not you think I'm not smart? Ha! Take that, peasant. So yeah, I uh, I beat it. I beat it his uh, I beat it his little game and uh, I showed who 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 was boss. Yeah. So uh yeah, um I think I did a pretty good job on that. Evil laugh, don't lie. I never lie, Becca. I never lie. I'm the I am the honest self myself. <laughs> but yeah, I do admit that I uh, I do admit I really enjoyed that conversation then, back then. It's still one of my highlight spots of like, what did you do? Well, I actually made a <laughs> psychiatrist turn around the table and make him cry. <laughs> how did you cr How did you make somebody cry? Well, you know. He tried to abuse my mind powers. Well, I used my mind and break broke his. I guess breaking somebody's mind is uh, not very nice, but hey, at least I got a good laugh out of it. <laughs> but yeah, that that man was the worst. He abused his position to get to 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 say like, yeah, you need to do this, you need to do that, and even though he was wrong. And I and I and I and I proved that he was wrong, so I'm very happy upon that. <laughs> in real life trolling, yep. In real life trolling, real life trolling is the best. And he could not do anything about it, and that's the best part of it. I'm not an internet troll. No, no, no. no. I was the real troll all along. <laughs> I was the man who was not living in a cave. No, I was the guy who lived under the rock. Take that. Take me, peasant. So yeah, I uh, I beat the living shit out of uh, out of his uh, out of his plan to uh, try to find me a job, even though the job was very crappy to begin with. And uh, I went along and played along, and until I was like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this puppet game. And uh, yep. I beat I beat it him in his own in his own game. That's when you get when you play with, when you play with fire. You don't you get burned. <laughs> I didn't play with fire. No, I had every every right to be upset. I had every right to say no. And I just went blindly with it. I was like, "Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. This is a scheme." Do -do 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 -do. So yeah, my mind was like, "I need to pay him." I need to pay him back badly. I need to show him who is boss. I am the dog that barks and bites. So yeah, I am. Uh, I was a real. I was a real hero in my in my own eyes. So yeah, that's why I adore myself. I do. I do like my uh, my own in internal thinking. It's like, yep, that man is pure evil. Stop him before he lays axe. I don't know if even people can lay eggs, but hey, you know, it's a take, figuratively speaking. You might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that breaking somebody, somebody with your mind power is sort of a fucking evil. <laughs> nah, don't know, <laughs> don't know, don't ask, never happened. <laughs> Oh sh! Damn it! Damn it! But yeah, that's uh, that's how things work, you know. I I I I went to lo I went through literally hell. So yeah, I guess uh, you know when when you when you, when you went when you go to hell when you went to hell and back, you know you turn out for the better. You improve upon yourself. You create character. 
And we notice sometimes that character can be a little bit, uh, well, out of whack. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, this, uh, this was lovely. Uh, I mean, really. Come on, I'm almost done. I'm gonna be finishing this off and then I will call it quits. I really like to have this thing done before I will start with a new color in it. Anyway, uh... So far, you know, that's uh, that's a new story. That's uh, that's the life story of me, my friends. I am a very talkative person when it comes to these things. And uh, yo, I'm backtracking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, d totally backtracking and stab, stab, stabbing the beast in the heart. That's me. The heroic deeds of Yorn the Brave. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that would be an awesome name. You are the brave, the legendary dude of dudeness. And I will come and help others to, you know, destroy this evil before Lee's axe. Yeah, evil, truly evil. The quick question is, what is truly evil? But yeah. So yeah, the the whole thing was actually that uh, yeah, I beat the beast, I defeated his schemes, and uh, I I I conquered. I came and saw and overcame. I believe that's the wording, right? So, also, but the good news is I learned a couple of things thanks to that beautiful journey of you know the belly and the beast. Yeah, the belly in the beast, or the beast in the belly, the stabbing the beast in the belly. I learned how to drive, well, I learned how to navigate by train. I learned to how to get on time on schedule. And I learned that there are more people in life than you. I think that's the thing, right? That's the thing, yeah. So what I learned was that everybody that was there at that place... We're all the same. We were all the same. What? Is that truly evil? <laughs> you! You are truly... No! I am not! I, I, do, I am truly... I'm truly good. You see, I beat it this evil mastermind with his own evilness. By turning it against him. I played the no you card. <laughs> But yeah, I learned how to drive. I learned how to, you know, not drive a uh, drive a train. But I learned how to navigate in a train. I learned how to get on time. How to be more productive. How to see things my way. And uh, yeah, it it turned out to be better because that way I learned how to use a mobile phone that that year. I learned how to use a mobile phone. I didn't know how to use a phone until. Five years ago, I believe. So five years ago, I didn't even know how to use a phone. That was heresy to me. So yeah, I learned that how to use a phone, uh, how to be, you know, reacting to certain types of situations. Had a little insight of other people that were in the same boat as me. Uh, of course, that boat was sinking very quickly. Everybody knew that, and uh, well, you know, we made the best of it. It was a lovely time. And I mean it. It was so lovely that I really would have done it again, just to talk to little, talk to those people and see where they ended up. And hopefully they were ending up on the right side. But yeah, these, uh, this instance of instances or whatever it was called, they were really, really not a very. Uh, they were just there. They were just there to pick my money, and I don't like that when somebody picks my money. <laughs> and I knew it, then, uh, well, you better be prepared, boy, because I will come for you. And I will find you. And I will make you pay for pay my, uh, for getting my money. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. No. 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 Becca, I am not evil. If I was evil, I would have said it already to Nilius. Nilius. Yeah, Nilius is a void lord, and I am not. I am just a nice little guy who likes to chit chat about everything. I'm just, I'm not a mastermind, I'm just, you, you know, me. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's continue upon this part. Uh, the wing looks nicely done. I'm very happy upon the result of this. 
and uh, I'll say I'll cu I will cut it here. So allow me to save this document before I quit because otherwise I have done nothing for nothing, which is stupid. Anyway, I wish you all a g the greatest of great. Uh, bleh. <laughs> all right, so that's it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed. <laughs> yes. No. Um, so I wish you all a great day today and uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, have a lovely day and uh, bye guys.